not true. You carry the awful weight of the seal. Hello. <laughs> we must hey guys, what's up? Sorry, I've been I've been a little bit quiet there just so we could uh, all get used to the, to the banging tunes. Hi there, everybody. Welcome. Hello. The goddess welcome to alive. welcome to another Dragon God stream. Oh my God, there you are. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Hello there, Crimson Red Thread. Hello there, Grey Griffin. Hello there, Vaughn. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey there, time for Stein. Chicken Hand. Blubberente. Hello there. Vendetta. Hi. Hello there, Tablet Orgy. Hello. Welcome. But yeah, hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, today, as you saw in the title... Uh, oh, I did say hello to you, Vaughn. I did say hello to you, Vaughn. I said hello, Vaughn. I'm pretty sure I did anyway. If I didn't, I apologize. But hello, Vaughn. I'm sorry. I tried my best to read everybody. I'm sorry. Ah, it, furry eye, be quiet. Silence, you. All right, but yes, uh, today we are going to be going for uh, ending a... Oh, you're fine. Oh, I see what you're trying to say. Also, by the way, I think I, I just realized I may have done a... I may have done a, a fuck it. I think I'm I'm recording right now at like 30 frames. Which is not okay. Hmm. Okay, it appears like... You know what? This should be fine, right? Are you guys okay with one stream where I'm like 30 frames per second? Are you guys cool with that? I, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'd have to restart the entire stream again to go uh, full frames. But I think at the moment, yeah, I think at the moment we're going for like 30 frames for the entire, the entire stream, which also, by the way, thank you, Johnny Tartley. Thank you so much for subbing. Thank you. Why the defaults like this? Oh, no, no, no. It's not the defaults. It's, um, it's the, I was recording with 30 frames, uh, before I was, before I was starting, right? Yeah. Uh... And because I was doing like recording for a friend, we're doing a project, you see, and we need it to be 30 frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to enter here. And if, if it is indeed 30 frames, then 30 frames. I mean, look, look at me right now. Look, you can see that. That is beautiful. 30 frames per second. No, we're not doing four frames per second. That's crazy. You're going bonkers, quite frankly. That is bonkers bananas. Oh, see, that's okay. Look at that. You can barely even tell the difference. Look. It's perfect. All right, cool. But yeah, how's everyone doing today, by the way? Is everyone doing okay? Is everyone having a nice day? Is everyone uh, hanging out, having a good time, chilling? Is that getting all finals of Draken Guard is kind of a comforting zone. You already get all finals a long time ago. I mean, and to be fair, this this game is like um It's it's fucking It's like it's like a comfort. Yeah, yeah, comfort. Sometimes sometimes it's nice just to, to play a, a game of your childhood, right? And now it's Draken Guard for me. Draken Guard was the game of my childhood, and now I'm now I'm replaying it and having a dang old great time with it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Chilling is right. I'm cold. I I'm also cold. Today is uh is is pretty chilly. I'm actually wearing my my indoor coat right now. I've been uh I've been ordering like a bunch of stuff, um from Amazon. In regards to my little vacation soon. Oh, so I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm really buzzed for that shit. I love describing Draken Guard as comforting. I mean, to be fair, there's nothing else I can really call it, right? You went to a friend's last night? I was nearly in two car crashes, but I did make I did meet several dogs. So that made up for it. Uh did the dogs almost cause the crash? Because in which case, those are bad, bad doggies. Those are naughty dogs. Also, hey, Lamp, what's up? And yes, don't worry, Von. One day, once upon a time, in the, in the very distant future, I will read The Ancient Margus Bride. I will. But as of right now, no. As of right now, I'm, I'm vibing, you see. Having a good old-fashioned vibe. That's what we're doing. But yeah, no. Um, so long as everyone's doing good today. I mean, I, I think I'm doing all right. Um, it's been a couple of days since I've last streamed. So I'm I'm kind of a... How can I put it? 
I'm feeling buzzed once once again. I feel I feel good. I feel good in my brain, which means it is indeed time for trauma. Yes, let's go. Love to vibe to the Dragon Guard OST. Hey, cool, you're a freak like me. That's great to hear. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? The seeds of resurrection lie scattered throughout the Imperial City. Are the seeds humanity's salvation or its destruction? Inuart has gone alone to try and resurrect Furiai. As hope fades from the world, Kaim flies to the Imperial City. He goes to destroy the seeds and to exact revenge on the Priestess Mana. Hell yeah! Are you guys ready to... Are you guys ready to... For, for murder? I am. Oh, wait! Oh, no! Oh, God! We're gonna be fighting the worm soon! Oh, no! Guys, we're gonna be fighting the fucking worm soon. I just realized that's bad. Oh, boy. Oh, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, you know what, guys? I am actually gonna do a quick restart. Is that cool? Again, uh, don't don't leave. Don't leave. I'm gonna be doing a quick restart. Okay, a real quick restart because I actually don't like the 30 frames. The 30 frames. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Do you guys even notice anything right now? Do you guys notice anything? Like, is this okay? Is this okay? Hey, thirsty sharks. What's up? How's it going? Are you good? Are you good? Hello, welcome. I see no difference. Ah, fuck it then. Fuck it. Fuck it. Like, honestly, if I, I feel like if that's the case, then fuck it, right? Like, if it looks okay for you guys, who gives a shit? 30 frames it is, baby. Alright, I'm below. God damn it. Oh my god, my aim. My aim is so trash right now. Okay, there we are. Yeah, fuck! Oh, I messed up. Never mind. But yeah, no, we'll probably be doing 30 frames today. Um, I don't want to. It was my own fault. But I also don't want to. Because I know like when you restart streams, people are like, I don't know. I'll be dealing with that. So yeah, none of that today. We're just gonna be We're just gonna be focusing on getting rid of these naughty boys. Hey oh, hey, oh, oh McSpottington, hello! Oh god, got hiccups, I'm sorry. I'm being chased by goo Oh Sorry, I'm being chased by ghouls and all sorts of uh, crazy creatures right now. How am I doing? I'm doing okay, thank you. Um, I've been getting a ton of stuff for my vacation. I've also been doing a lot of uh, a lot of self self care. I know, crazy, right? A bit of self care in the in the mornings and the evenings. Guess what I'm doing? That's right. It's called not posting on Twitter. I'm not joking. It feels amazing. It feels so good. Like, logging into Twitter and being like, you know what? I don't need to post today. I don't need to post for, like, the next week. I can just relax. I don't have to worry about the pressures of social media. Oh, my God. It's heaven. It's true heaven. I love it. It's the be It really is the best feeling, like, unironically. I love it to bits. Don't even need to log into Twitter. Believe me, I, I wish, I wish, but I'm not gonna lie. It's like total, uh, what's the word? Sometimes it's like a total fucking addiction thing, right? Like, you just wanna log in and read all of the fucking bad news. But I don't wanna do that anymore. I don't wanna, I don't wanna read bad news anymore. I just, I wanna be happy. I wanna, I wanna have good, good, happy times, not sad times. So that's why I'm avoiding Twitter right now. It feels amazing. So good. No regretty, no spaghetti, am I right? Oh, okay. Okay, nice. I 
Wanna have happy times? Plays Draken Gun. Listen, it's different, okay? This brings me back to happier times in my life, alright? Draken Guard is beautiful. Oh my god, okay. There's mana. The FOMO will be real for a bit. Not even. Not even, like. Like, I don't even feel like I'm missing out on much, honestly. Like, I don't know. I feel just kind of, uh, kind of content. Feels good. I remember trying to speed through this game before I had to return it to Blockbuster. That was me with, uh, Digimon World. Digimon World, 100%. Like, that was my, that was my rented game for Blockbuster. But like Drakengard, my my mummy, my mummy bought that for me when I was uh, when I was but a little boy, and it changed my life for the better. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank was your blockbuster game. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That actually kind of blows. Like Ratchet and Clank is a great game to take slowly. Oh boy. Oh gee. Hang on, there we go. Ow! Ow! What the fuck? I'm being dogpiled on by fucking bones! That was such bullshit. Fuck you. Get out of here, you Melvin. What the fuck? Such bullshit. Get out of it. No! Die, idiot! There you go. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, the base cannon still works at 30 frames. It's fine. It's all good. Alright, come on. Some of them must be open by now. Some of them, surely. No? Okay. Oh, yeah! Alright, there's one. Uh... Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I might die. I might die. Give me a sec. Alright, there we go. One, two, three. Uh, god damn it. I hate these enemies the most. Yeah, I guess you guys can see. These enemies, if, if you haven't, like, locked into a Dragon Guard stream before, you can only hurt them when they open up. And they kind of open up in like uh, split intervals, and then they shut again, which makes it so annoying. Ah, yeah. Okay, there we are. I don't think it's that fun, if I'm being honest with you. The is dead. The seal broken. Stop being such it a doomer. The end. The end of everything. Verlay is such a doomer. He's taken the black pill. It's quite sad, to be honest. Poor boy. Don't worry, Verdele. Everything will be just fine. Oh, I did it! Nice! I did it! 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 Where's my praise? I did it! Select an option? Yeah, I can do that. You ever get on the Alan Wake train? You mean, you mean Flashlight Simulator? I have not played Alan Wake 1 or the remake. Oh boy! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our favorite friend, it's the Worm! Oh, gee whiz, I'm so excited. Okay, this is where you might see me rage a little bit because uh, this boss is... Not great. I'll be blunt. This this is the the boss of all time. Um, it is probably gonna require a lot of <laughs> a lot of trial and error. Um, it's quite a bastard, basically. So, mm. okay. Right. The worm. Time quails before the the ancient dragon and its thousand children, almost never seen upon the earth. Uh, this noble beast has been drawn from its heavenly lair by the seeds of resurrection. 
Before the almighty worm, even the dragon feels fear. Kaim holds the dragon tightly around the neck and urges her into battle. Okay. Yeah, quails means like to, to shiver in fear. Like you hunch down and little boy, you're quailing. The myths come alive. Here it is. Oh boy. Alrighty. Wish me luck, folks. I cannot go further. The worm. It is a terrible thing. What a weird design. Let go. Cannot warn me now. Yeah. It's weirdly enough the the power of love, I suppose. Dun bum. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. This is going to be an absolute bastard. What's the worm doing here? I'm assuming the worm came out to find the seeds, right? Like, that's what they said. They said, like, ah, oh, yeah, the worm had, like, a wakey wakey party, and it was because of the seeds. The seeds of resurrection. But yeah, no, it's a it's a bastard. It has like a, I I think it has auto heal. Like I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy! Okay, never mind. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Oh! Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It does this, and I'm pretty sure it heals. I'm pretty sure it wheels. Hey, sorry, wheels, it heals even. I'm pretty sure. And we don't want that. Oh boy. Woo! Okay, one, two, three. Ow. Four. Oh boy, okay, hang on. Oh, you. Woo! -hoo! Oh my god, it didn't hit me! Alright, don't worry about it. I'm actually fucking fine. I'm so good right now. Alright, nice. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, fireball! Oh, fuck. Never mind. Ah, oh, that's shit. Okay, fuck. God damn it. Die, asshole! Yeah, 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 I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, okay, nice. Oh, boy. Oh! Alright, there we go. So far, so good, right? Like, it's not so bad. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm remembering a lot of, a lot of old tactics, you see. A lot of old tactics that are kind of kept up in the old brain box. Nonsense! Yeah! Alright, hang on. One. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh! oh. Nice. Uh, three. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Ow! If I can do this first try, I'm gonna lose my fucking nut. That is gonna be so incredible. Okay, hang on. Yep, it's healing. Oh, baby, is it healing? Okay, there we are, there we are, there we are, there we are. Nice! Okay, 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 okay. Don't jinx yourself, that's like my whole life. Also, by the way, while I'm uh, while I'm fighting the funny boy, what have you guys been up to today? I know it's uh past Halloween at this point, but um You guys been getting up to any fun after Halloween shenanigans? Thank you so much, Bullet Harrier. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Finish some cleaning? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, 
Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, God. I'm probably gonna die. I know I'm, like, really close right now. I know I'm really close, but... I, I, I just feel like with the amount of stuff they're, like, spewing out at me right now... Nah. Oh, damn it. If only I was dodging a little bit more. That's fine. It, it is what it is. Whatever. Um, we'll try again. Doing some lifting. Oh my god, bro, you lift? How much do you lift? I can lift up my entire family on one arm. Is the, Can you do any better? Hmm? Hmm? Hung some curtains, which is enough of an achievement for the week for me. Nice! Glad to hear that. You finished a second playthrough of Cyberpunk. Oh my god. The myths come alive. The last time I remember that game, everyone didn't like it. I, I guess they have released like patches and shit. I cannot go further. The worm. It is a I get it, Angelus. Please. All right, there we are. Oh, you built a desk. Nice. I want to do that soon actually. I want uh, I want two screens, you see. Two screens on my on my PC. Oh! All right, there we are. Nice. Yeah, I've been getting like a, a bunch of stuff um, for the for the holiday I'm going on. Like, I've now got a full set of waterproofs. Um, I have waterproof jackets. I have waterproof bottoms. I have hiking shoes. I have hiking gloves. I have I have I have so much of like I I don't know. Basically, I'm I'm going like over prepared, right? Over prepared, so I know that uh, when I get there, there won't be any days where I feel like I'm uh, I'm kind of caught off guard. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Good prep, exactly. I feel like I'm prepping pretty decently right now. You're about to make a Final Fantasy 14 account? No wait, wait, no wait, stop. No, I'm joking. It's fun. It'll be fun for you, I promise. You'll have a good time. It's been a while since I played 14, honestly. I really should. I should get back into it. Like, I feel like, um, at some point with Endwalker, it's not like I, I stopped liking the game. It's that I, I, I suddenly hit up, like, how can I put it? I'm sure you guys understand this, right? Sometimes when you hit, like, roadblocks in your life, um... Sometimes playing MMOs can feel like an utter waste of fucking time. Does that make sense? Like, sometimes you're just like, oh man, I feel like every single thing I'm doing in an MMO right now is just a waste of goddamn time. I want to be doing anything else but playing an MMO. I want to go outside and touch a twig, you know? Like, shit like that. I don't know. That, that's how I felt with uh, Final Fantasy XIV for a while. So I think I'm going to have to get into like a better state of mind to, uh, to actually be able to... To play it this way, right? Yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, yeah, it sucks, don't it? I hate it. Nice! Okay, good, good. Nice. 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 Okay. That's why I take uh, weekly walks. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I really want to... I want a dog. Like, I want a dog. Cause I feel like a dog will actually get me out of the house more, right? Like, a dog will make sure I, I go for fucking walkies. And the dog will make sure that I have to take it for walkies. So it'll be like, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that'll be that'll be a, a good thing to get a dog, and also like, uh, what's the word? Adopting one as well, so I can give something a loving home. I I, I really want to want to do that. Want to do that very very much. Humble. Turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
guys? Are you seeing that health? Oh my god! I have become far stronger than I ever Woo-wee! Alright, we did it. I, I was I was scraping by on like two health. Alright, nice. What do we got here? 3% health! Fuck yeah, dude! That is so good. Alright, nice. We're uh, we're cooking today, folks. We are cooking. Yeah, I feel like I'm gaming. I feel like I'm I'm truly gaming. I do light workouts to help mitigate that feeling. See, that's the thing. I did too, but then eventually I was like, I, I don't know. I kind of want to interact with more people outside. I want to start becoming more outdoorsy. That's something I've definitely come to come to realize lately. Like, I don't know, going out on little adventures, uh, finding new places. I want to do that. It'll be fun. Oh, guys, are you ready for the in love storyline, by the way? Are you ready for the uh, dragon falls in love with Kaim storyline? Well, here we go. The dragon has never felt anything but scorn for mankind. But as she flies, she begins to feel strange new emotions for this man called Kaim. Now they fly to the city, to Mana. To revenge. Wow. It's a beautiful love story. Okay, hang on. Nothing is stronger than we are now. Let nothing that values life stand before us. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is the Draken God 2 ending. Let's go. Whoa, Renvery! What the hell? Thank you so much for a fiver. Thank you. Oh wow, are you seeing how slow it's taking it for a low? Oh my god, it's like it's like old school old school internet. God damn it. Seriously though, thank you so much. Oh I'm, I'm burping, sorry. Thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. Like honestly, it means a lot that you guys are, are just hanging out with me in general. It's fucking cool. Alright, here we go. Meow meow meow. All right, I'm gonna take care of this guy first because it's gonna start drawing in all of my magic energy. Basically, whenever it hits this uh, this gargoyle, it's gonna waste some of my magic, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. So I'm gonna. Oh, you know, what? fuck it. It's only got like three. Yeah, there we go. Nothing to worry about. I was panicking for nothing. Don't worry about it. There you go. God damn it! Oh fuck's sake! Hang on, there we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Got the fucking guy. Get rid of that. Nice. Get rid of it. Yeah, there you go. All right, nice. I did it. Bum 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 bum. Have you tried geocaching? I've heard of Geo the geocaching before, Carl Snacks. Um or Snarks, sorry, Carl Snarks. Um Isn't that where you like go out with certain locations on like your phone and you have to try and find treasure or something like that? Because that does sound like fun. I don't know, that sounds like something I could probably get into. I think the only thing I'd be worried about is like what if a what if a fucking psycho is also going out there looking for looking for geocaches? And also, looking for people who are looking for geocaches. That's what I get scared about. I get way too paranoid about, like, dumb shit like that. It's why I say, oh, I've never flown before, because I'll be, I'll, I'll be the only one on the flight that crashes, right? Like, oh, the one time I go flying, of course it's going to be my flight that crashes. That's what I'm like day by day. It's become a real problem. I hate it. Open up, please. God damn it. There we are. I never considered a geocache killer. That's how they get you. 
Isn't England relatively safe? I hate to tell you this, but there are still mass murderers in the UK. <laughs> I hate to tell you that. Just because we don't have guns doesn't mean people that uh, can uh, utilize their horrific, horrific state of minds to cause harm on the human race. That is definitely still a thing in the UK. How can I put it? If people, if people don't pick up a, if people don't pick up a fucking gun, they pick up a knife. It's like that all around the world, right? Like, I feel if people are like, okay, and I, I don't want to stick on that. Yeah, people like, don't go killing with this thing. Then I feel like killers are going to be like, I'll just start killing with another thing. You know what I mean? It's like, a, it's very sad. It's very sad. I knew no such strength. Makes me sad. I confronted my fear of planes uh, by going to Vegas for the first time. Nice! That's awesome! Did you have a fun time? That's sick though, for real. But yeah, no, I was gonna say, that's the thing. I think the thing is, no matter how safe you think a place is, um, there are still people out there who will do people harm, like, no matter what. And that's why we all have to, I don't know, we all just, how can I put it? Make sure people don't do shit like that. I don't want people to be doing stuff like that. It's terrible. When I'm flying, I'm more terrified of my luggage getting lost. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, I'm more worried about me bringing my Switch or something like that. And then it's like, oh, we've lost your Switch. But like, are you kidding me? No. We might get it back to you. We might not. It really depends. Okay, there we are. Okay. All right, there we are. One down. Ow. Oh, fuck. Those Grim Reapers, uh, if you're close to them, they can be one-hit one hit kills. So we do not want to fuck around with them. Oh, no, wait. They have to throw their side first. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Ah, like that. Okay, there we are. So they have to throw the side first. And if we get too close, then that's bad news. We don't want that. Okay, there we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Never mind. I don't think I could live in Vegas, but it was nice. I feel I feel that way about America in general. Like I really do love I love traveling to America, right? Like as a tourist. Oh no, I died. As a tourist, America is like so fun. It's really really cool. It's cool seeing how people function in America. Uh, it's cool seeing how people how people like vibe in America. But I feel like I'm I'm too much of a quiet person to live in America. I know that doesn't make any sense. Oh, there are quiet people who live in America. I get it. What I'm trying to say is I think I prefer the the kind of I don't know. I I, I, I prefer I guess because I've been living in the UK all my life. Right? I think I just prefer the vibes over here. Like, it's kind of like when you go abroad, you're like, oh my god, people are living so differently to how I have lived. That's crazy. It's like a, it's like a culture shock, right? And then when you go back home, you're like, oh my god, things are back the way, things are back to normal. That is beautiful. Did I hear about the Yoko Taro Sega mobile game is already getting shut down? Do you mean the, uh... Do you mean, uh... Because in which case, yes, I have heard of that. Yes, yes, yes. Get him. Nice. Hey, hey oh, that 
was pretty good. All right, good shit. It's the mobile game with Sega games as anime girls. Oh, that one. Wait, isn't that the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Oh my God, I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize that was a, that was a Taro thing. What the fuck? Yeah, I had no idea that was even a Taro thing. That's, that is news to me, my friend. That is complete fucking news to me. Okay, interesting. Go figure. Okay, go, 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 go. It came out several months ago and then nothing. I think that's what I've said a million times. Maybe, maybe Yoko Taro, maybe he just needs a nap. You know what I mean? Maybe he just needs a little nap. Maybe he just needs a little sleep. I feel, I feel like he's been overworked for the last few years. Nothing compared to, uh, like, Nomura or something like that. I feel, I feel like Nomura, is that man just incapable of burnout? Like, I don't believe that. I think that man is completely capable of burnout, but the amount of projects they keep giving him, like, Jesus. There's gonna come a point, Namora, where you get really, really tired. Don't force yourself, buddy. Think Namora is just high off stress. I don't want that for poor old Namora. I at this point I want Namora to retire into a beautiful little cottage into the woods. He doesn't deserve all of that shit, poor boy. I envy the bond you have with the dragon. I knew no such strength. Oh, did you see that shot? That was fucking juicy. Oh, God damn it! again? Really? Okay, fine, hang on. Yeah! Oh, perfect aim. That was so good. Ah, uh, that wasn't so good. That was pretty shit, actually. That was trash. But I'm trying, God damn it. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I have, um... I have two sponsored streams for next week. I can't believe it, like I actually got two fucking sponsored codes. Again, they're not uh they're not paid for streams, but um they did give me the code for free, so it still does count as a sponsored stream. So I'm gonna be having a couple of sponsored streams next week. Um one of them is for Little Goody Two Shoes, which is a brand new horror game. It's an indie horror game. Uh, with, with RPG-like qualities, and it looks very, very fucking cool. It looks really, really neat. Uh, and the other one is Star Ocean the Second, which I've never played before. I've never played that game, and I know it's a remake, and I've heard it's really good. Like, I've heard, I've heard that game is really fucking good, so I'm gonna be, uh... I'm going to be doing a sponsored stream for that next week. I have no idea what I'm going to be getting into, but um, it seems like it's pretty cool. Yeah, I got a, I got a whole last code for it. Happy days. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that. I'm pretty buzzed. I'm pretty excited. Why did I dodge directly into it? Am I a fucking idiot? Ah, never mind. I got it. It's all good. I've been playing it, it's excellent. Yeah, I've had a few, a few Star Ocean fans um, who have said that th this remake in particular is like the best thing ever. It's so good, apparently. That's what I hear. Nice. Get that money. Again, if I was paid, it would be a different story, I think, but I I'm not being paid for these sponsored streams. Just just as a, as a heads up, I am not being paid 
for these sponsored streams. My payment is the code. So that is how I, I am not getting any money, any money for this stream. Hey, Diadoodles, what's up? How's it going? All right, nice, we did it. Old school challenge, be ready. Okie dokie. See, the one thing I'm nervous about, what if I don't like it? That's why I always try my best to be honest in those streams, but I do feel a bit bad if I'm like reviewing it. And I say, oh, by the way, I think this game is kind of, kind of dookie. But from what I've heard, it's it's a good game, so I, I don't need to worry about being a, being a, a stinky, a stinky bully towards it. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, Nobuyashi. Uh, okay. Oh god, I got hiccups. I'm sorry. Hang on, there we go. Oh Christ. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ah! Maybe not Nobuyashi. Maybe something else, like, um... Feng's Glaive. What about that? That's better! Alright, nice. Now we're talking. Hell yeah. Okay. Look at this experience we're getting, guys. Do you remember in the beginning we were getting, like, 25 experience off an enemy? Now we're getting 90 experience a pop. This is what they call... The grind light, you see. Screw the limelight. We're talking about the grind light today. It feels fantastic. Whoop. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. Also, check this out, guys. Look, look, look. It's a seed of resurrection. Look, it's the thing that everybody talks about. There it is. Shall we cast magic on it? Let's do it. Oh, that was a stupid idea. They're fucking resistant to it, idiot. Well, I feel like quite a fool. Never mind. What if Kaim jumped into a seed right now? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? If, like, the seed served as, a uh, They served as, like, negative things in the environment. Like, you jump into it and this is game over. Like, hang on. And it does the little, like, the little splorchy sound. That'd be cool. What do you think the seed tastes like? Unironically, I think it tastes like millennia's worth of iron, right? Just blood carried down through through family lines, and it all coalesces into this ball. It just tastes like a giant metallic mass. That's what I'm guessing. Blood as ancient as the fucking world is old, right? Yeah, rancid blood, exactly. Because if it's like remaking you, then it's got to have something to do with DNA. And for some reason, I can't imagine DNA tasting like anything other than just blood. What do you guys think DNA tastes like? What a question to, what a thing to ask. Spaghetti. That'd be better than what I was thinking. Just like blood and pus and fucking pain. Oh god. Eggs Benedict? Maybe that's why everybody wants these seeds. Eggs Benedict is fucking tasty. Actually, I will say, in my opinion, the best type of Eggs Benedict is an is a egg a egg royale. An egg royale. It has the old, uh, the old whatchamacallit in it. Salmon! It has smoked salmon instead of ham. I don't really like ham that much, if I'm honest. I'm not a, I'm not a ham person. Basically, they, they replaced the ham with, uh, smoked salmon, and it is, without a doubt, the tastiest, the tastiest little thing. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh. 
Alright, where are we going? This way, okay. It did hit me that the giant flying demon babies have not made themselves apparent yet. But give it time, ladies and gentlemen. Give it time. Soon the stars of the show will arrive. But I think we need to get all of the party members first. Like right now, the giant flying demon babies are taking a nap. And that's okay. Who, who are we to begrudge a nice nap, right? hey -ya! Nice. I really wish we got a new Digimon game. We'll get a new Digimon game in the future. Don't you worry. They're not going to give up on it forever, right? I think that's the thing. Digimon still makes them piles of cash. So we are definitely going to be um, getting a new Digimon game eventually. And I'm excited for that. I am. Any excuse for a new Digimon game makes me very, very happy. Hey, MNS, what's up? How's it going? Welcome, buddy. You doing good? Alright, nice. I think Digimon Survive did not do as well as hoped. It wouldn't. I, I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but it wouldn't. Um, number one, it's a, it's a, basically a VN. If it did well for a VN, then that's fantastic. But if they were expecting it to do, like, Fortnite numbers, you know what I mean? No! Definitely not. Like, I'm sorry to say it. Like, I, I think you just gotta think... You gotta think, like, not realistic. That makes me sound so pompous. I, I think you just gotta think, like, okay. The VN community is quite niche. It's quite a niche community. The Digimon community is also quite niche. So, why not put these two niche things together? We're gonna have a hit. You know what I mean? And yeah, like, 500k copies. That sounds like a lot to us. But to, like, the bloodsuckers in suits? No. 500k is, like, nothing for them. It's nothing. That's pig swill. And it sucks to say. But that's how these people think, you know what I mean? They want more, they want more, they want more blood, yeah. I just want to see, I want to see another, another world game. I want to see another Cyber Sleuth game. I want to see weird shit like that, right? I'd be happy. I'd be very pleased. Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh, there are still more down here. Oh. Oh, wait, can I even, hold on. Oh, I went down the wrong way. Sorry. My bad. Oh, wait. Can I not go this way either? Oh, come on. Boo. I hate this in games, by the way. It's one of my pet peeves. Where you can jump. But they're like, no. You can't go this way that you can jump over. You have to... Even though the map clearly says... It's fine. I know there are little black dots on there, but ignore those. That doesn't that doesn't fit my my stupid run, okay? I hate it. Now I have to go the wrong I have to go the wrong way. I forgot how cool this game looks. Yeah, yeah, when the flying demon babies come in, like you can see them all around the sky. It's so cool. It's even, you know what's even more annoying than having that? Is when they do it in a game, and it's clear that everyone can clear it, but they're like, oh no, we have to find another way around now. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? 
You have legs, you can stretch. Just get that big old leg and fucking steppy over it, dumb fuck. Ooh, it gets me mad. Ooh. Why do video games have to get me so angry? Fuck. Oh. Oh god. I feel yeah, no. I don't know. It sounds weird to say. I feel pretty I feel pretty damn good today. I feel like happy in my bones, you know what I mean? Like my bones feel happy. No! Oh my god, I almost got a 36 chain. That would have been so good. Fuck. Yeah, I, I hope that continues. I don't know. The last uh I've been worried about the last few weeks just in terms of um how can I put it? I don't know, just where, where, uh, it's not, the, I, I don't want to, I don't want to worry you guys, I'm not, I'm not trying to be doomer or anything, I promise, I promise, um, but I am starting to think more about, like, oh, what am I going to be, what am I going to be doing, like, uh, you know, like, a year from now, what am I going to be doing, and I get nervous about it, right, but I think so long as I'm, so long as I'm happy, and I have loved ones around me, that's all I really give a fuck about, end of the day, right? Um, I don't know. I think just... There's a lot of stuff... In, in life, in this, in this, this crazy world we live in that just, uh... Fills us with endless amounts of stress, and I get it. I get it. Completely, I get it. But I also think people... Are very quick to not see... All of the good shit. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do right now, I guess. I know, I, I again, I save that while playing Draken God, right? But it feels pretty, I don't know, it feels pretty good. Yeah, it's a good thing. Exactly, exactly. It's a good, yeah. Find what makes you happy. And that's good. I was gonna say, that's one thing, uh, Kara Kara. One thing I am planning on doing, I wanna have a an American road trip before I die. Um, I've been meaning to do it quite soon, actually. I wanna like, get some friends. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see the Grand Canyon. I want to see the Grand Canyon. That's what I want to see. I want to see all of the, the the crazy places in America. I want to I want to go on a. You know what I want to see? Actually, I want to see the stars at night in the middle of the desert. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want to see. I want to see that. That looks fucking beautiful. The most beautiful thing in the world. Yeah, fuck. Die! Alright, there you go. I've lived in America my whole life. I've never been anywhere but the East Coast. Go do it! Go do it! Oh, fuck, I'm almost dead. Ah! Aye! Hang on. Oh, fuck. Oh! Die! Alright, there we go. Fuck! Yeah, if I, if I have, like, some chums who would be willing on being the chauffeur. I would be so down with going on like a giant road trip. That'd be very good. Guys, I might I might end up dying. I might end up dying. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh yeah, dangerous health. This this level has um barely any any help, which is worrying. Alrighty, good, good, good. Woo hoo! That was lucky. Okay. And then, oh my god, there's another chest over there. Hang on a minute. Demon soldiers rise up to guard the door. Cut them down and take the final key to the altar. Okay. 
I would love for, for Clems to do an IRL RV stream like Connor and go hiking with us in the backpack. I do that at some point, honestly. Like, I, I mean it as well, I really do. Um, I'd love to take you guys exploring. That'd be so fun. I think the problem is, again, like, going to a lot of places that I want to go to, they're, like, in the middle of the mountains, so I'd be worried about how the connection would be. Like, I think I need to have a good internet connection the entire time, the entire journey. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Like, exactly. I'd be turning another hobby into a, into a, into work. Which isn't something I necessarily want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Fuck. Please be health. Please be health. Fuck, it's a sword. Okay, that's fine. Ah. Damn it. I guess the question is, I think it's a it's a bit of a, a, a rough question when you go like, what's, to, oh, by the way, guys, by the way, I'm going to stop right here. Check this out in the sky. Do you see it? Ha, 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 ha. Among us, ha 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 Because I, 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 I have a, a ton of places I'd really love to visit. I'd really love to visit. Fuck! No! I died! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, never mind. It's fine. Uh, never mind, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This voice. Okay, let's bring out this. Okay. Alright, let's just keep doing this. Keep doing this, just keep pile on the pressure. Pile on the pressure, no weakness. Go, go, go. If I keep up the pressure, I keep up the combo, which means more health. And we want that. Oh, baby, do we want that. Uh, New Jersey has some gorgeous places. Does New Jersey have, like, a bunch of uh, nature hikes and stuff like that? That's really the, the areas I'm thinking about, like, visiting. I want to go, like, uh, I want to go to some of the national parks. Even though the national parks are home to, like, most of the conspiracy theories in the fucking US, I still want to visit. That being said, guys, if I ever do go to a national park and I turn up, like, missing or dead, 100% blame it on the national parks. Don't blame it on, like, me. I definitely didn't get lost by my own, like, naivety and inexperience. It was definitely the national parks, 100%. That being said, I do kind of believe there's weird shit going on in national parks. I don't know. I feel like the national parks are way too goddamn big, right? They're way too big and they're way too scary. See, I'd want to go to Yellowstone, but I've been watching too much Mr. Balance stuff. Where it's like, a group of teenagers had a really good time until they didn't when they fell into a fucking giant boiling pit in Yellowstone National Park and turned into soup. I'm like, I don't want to be turned into soup. I don't want to go there. That's so scary. 
I also never want to go to, uh, to like, Alaska. Well, not Alaska's fine. But I don't want to go to, like, national parks in Alaska just because I'm scared of polar bears. <laughs> polar bears are the one things that will, like, take a nibble out of your bum and they'll be like, haha. And I'll do it again! <laughs> polar bears, yeah, they, they don't have a single fear in the world about, like, eating people. It's scary. I could go rafting. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nice. Okay, good, good. Woo! Beautiful. Like I've I've seen I've seen videos before of people trying to pet polar bears. I, I it it makes my heart jump into my my throat every single time. Like I feel like people really underestimate just how dangerous polar bears are, right? Like polar bears do not give a fuck that you're a human being. They will they will they will spend no time skinning you and eating you while you're still alive. Like, that's the whole thing with polar bears, right? They and, and, like, grizzly bears, or just bears in general. Like, they keep you alive when they eat you to keep the meat fresh. It's pretty fucked up, and that's why I never want to be done in by a bear. No thank you. Lions eat your ass too. Yeah, lions are lazy though. That's the thing. I mean, I, mean, I say lions are lazy. They're lazier than hyenas. That's all I know. Apparently, they're more scavengers than the goddamn hyenas. That's what I've heard anyway. There you go. But no, I think, I think Lamp, like, as far as Darwinism goes, right? I think people need to be taught rather than... Like, ah, oh, this fucking dumbass, they went out there without knowing. I, I think if they if they were simply taught it before, and like, if they went in there with the knowledge, and they were like, yeah, I know they said a polar bear will literally, like, skin my head for fun, but I'm gonna pet it anyway, then fair enough, Darwinism, you know, Darwinism have you, right? Because you clearly didn't learn your lesson, and you're about to learn. But then there are people that don't know. And I, I feel very bad for them. You don't deserve to be nibbled by a big old polar bear. Can you get through unharmed? Okay, 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 fuck! God damn, I've already lost like 50% of my health. That's no good. Did you know that a polar bear liver will kill you if you ate it? How the hell do you know? Okay, better question. How do people know that? Who was the first person that saw a polar bear and went, you know what? I'm just gonna take a big old bite out of his liver and then they found out the hard way. I don't know, I can't see myself living in that world. Yeah, what if it was like the key to immortality? We'd regret that for the rest of us. I mean, would you guys even want to be immortal? That's a good question. That's a good question. There you go, yeah! Polar bears will hunt humans and follow them to their home. It's so scary, man! The indigenous? That is true, yeah. The indigenous would have ate them. And then I guess they must have eaten the liver and went, you know what? Let's not eat that again. <laughs> Let's not eat that again. <laughs> it's a bit like how people, I'm like, how do people find out that, uh, what's the word? How do people find out that you can drink from a cow? Because obviously we know that we can drink from our own mothers. But who was the first person that was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna take a sip out of something else. I don't trust it. Thank you, Peter, for the bits. Thank you so much. Ow. And by the way, can we can we also say for that one person that was starving enough to eat a polar bear? First of all, they had to be healthy enough to kill that fucking polar bear. Which is incredible. So if they were healthy enough to eat a polar bear, they might have just did it because they thought, you know what, what does that thing taste like? <laughs> I don't know if they were... I don't know if they were that if they were that desperate, really. If they were like, maybe they were so hungry. They thought, you know what? I'm so hungry, I can fight that fucking polar bear and live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were that hungry. They had to fist fight a fucking polar bear. That's crazy. What did it taste like? I'm guessing lean. I've heard that carnivores have very, very lean meat. <laughs> Drunk or hungry. Two of humanity's biggest, uh, biggest drives. the drive and innovation for science. That is very true. Sometimes when I'm really hungry, I'm like, what does this bag of, like, out-of-date potato chips sound like? I feel like that's exactly the same as people that were, like, like thousands of years ago that were struggling to survive on, like, elk and shit. It's pretty much the same thing, right? I'm so hungry. I know there's a fucking Sainsbury's, like, two minutes away. Oh, but I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat a polar bear. <laughs> Somebody had to be hungry enough to eat a sea urchin. Yeah, and then they found out that it's kind of delicious for a lot of people. Again, like, it, it just makes me, it makes me question humanity a bit, right? Where it's like, okay, we have in front of us the fugu, the puffer fish, right? Somebody fishes it up and eats it, and they go, oh, fuck, it's so fucking toxic that, that it kills you in, like, ten seconds, right? And one guy... He looked at it with a raised eyebrow, and he went, I'm gonna make it not toxic. <laughs> like, did it really? Apparently, it doesn't even taste that good. Like, what's the, what's, what was the point? They did it for the meat. Yeah, bet, exactly. Like, oh, we can never eat this thing. And then there's like, Fugu Lover, like, XX. XX Fugu Lover XX. He loved how that toxicity tastes. He loved it. It's why he's on Twitter all the time. He loves the toxic nature of it. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. And he found out a way, and now people can eat fugu relatively safely. Which is crazy. But I still have to question why. <laughs> I still have to question why. Good. And then we got a bunch of naughty boys. There we go. See, at least this spell does the job, right? It does the goddamn job. Also, hey there, Hannah. 
I love this weapon. It's so good. Coffee was discovered because the goats kept on going batshit crazy. Uh, that's kind of cute. I mean, other an there are animals out there that like eat fermented fruit, right? There are animals out there that eat fermented fruit because they realize it makes them feel funky. It makes them feel fresh. Which is kind of kind of neat. Like animals have discovered how to get lit. I think there are there are certain goats that um that love eating what was it certain mushrooms because it makes them hallucinate. Pardon me for being ignorant. Watch ending part. That's that's not being ignorant. That's a that is a perfectly fine question. We're on ending A right now. We're on ending A. And you know what the crazy thing is? The animal kingdom doesn't even have rules and regulations on drugs. So they can just get lit all the time. And there's no, like, there's no, like, I don't know, like, policeman dolphins coming along and being like, Oi, stop poking that puffer fish. Stop it, you. It's like the humanity's equivalent of, like, licking a toad. Sharks don't even like people meat. I've heard, yeah. Apparently, isn't it like, um... I mean, from what I've heard, they pretty much eat... They, they eat, I mean, god, they eat a shit ton, but I think it's, uh... They'd rather not go for human meat. But they'll still eat it if you're bleeding in the water. Something like that. I can't remember. Ah. Oh. Sharks don't have fingers, they can feel it with their teeth. That's fucking stupid. Why don't they just feel with like their, their fins? This is the reason sharks are all extinct. And I'm still alive. All right, well, we have good news, everybody. Good news. Uh, we have more than 50% of our health, which is good. Hey, Carl, what's up? We're having uh, unhinged chats about, I don't know, what were we talking about? We were talking about polar bear meat. We were talking about the first person that discovered puffer fish meat. Just a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of fun things for the whole family. And like, again, you know, there, there was like that, that one coffee, that one coffee. I don't know, everyone knows about it, right? But that one coffee that shit out by that weird, like, relative of the cat family. I forget what it's called. It's not like a stoat, but it looks like a stoat. And it eats it and it shits it out. And then somebody was like, I want to put that in my coffee. Why? 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 I don't get it. I don't understand. Like it's poop! Alright, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. An octopus has three hearts? Why do they need three? What do they have to get fucking anxious about? I only have one heart and it fucking beats a million hours per second every day because I'm constantly like a scared rabbit. There it is again, guys. Among Us. Ha ha, Among Us. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Nature is scary. And you know what's even scarier? We are also part of nature. That's pretty scary to me. At some point, at some point, humanity was just like, you know what? 
I'm going to hold myself so much higher than nature that I'm going to put humanity higher than animals. It's like, we are animals. We're just really, really smart ones. We're really fucking smart animals. We're still animals. I, I hate to tell people that think, oh, we're so much smarter than animals. Barely. We just reached enough intelligence to start building enough homes and do all that shit. Like, that, we are, we are, I don't know. The amount of stupid shit I see all the time. Nah, I don't know. I think, I think we're kind of still pretty stupid. Yeah, exactly. We eat fugu and poop coffee. There you go. And then there was that one person who ate the polar bear meat, and he decided not to do it again because he was dead. And all his mates went, all right, we've learned from fucking Kevin over here. Don't eat polar bear livers. They'll mess you up, fam. Yeah, yeah, we eat maggot cheese. So gross. But then I eat blue cheese, so like, what's the difference? What is the, what is the difference there? Question or answer. No real difference. Fucking die. Die, asshole. Maybe it was him who was allergic to bear meat. Oh my god, Umbrella, that's such a good idea. Let's make an expedition to go to... Let's... <laughs> Let's find every polar bear we can and fucking eat him. Yeah! We're gonna fight... Okay, maybe I'll be the person to discover how to make polar bear livers non-toxic. I'll make it the new fugu. And I'll say, this is for all the people you ate, you bastard. I know it's nothing but your nature and you genuinely don't know. Didn't some Eaton boys try to find out? Wouldn't that make them an Eaton mess? Oh! Oh! That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, uh, buddy, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, Savior. Thank you. By the way, you guys may not know, but yesterday was really, really loud in the UK. Because we were celebrating that one bloke for, getting, for, for trying to blow up Parliament. What was his name? Uh, fucking Crazy Kevin. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. The gunpowder trees of the plot. I'll never forget the day that Crazy Kevin was forgot. Yeah, the anonymous mask man, exactly. We were celebrating. Yeah, Guy Forbes, yeah. It was so fucking loud last night, by the way. Like, I'm not even kidding. Fireworks everywhere, bonfires everywhere. It was crazy. But it was pretty cool, though. He didn't even get to blow up the palace. What are we celebrating him for? I, I think it's for the audacity. Like, a lot of times people were celebrating this. So it was like, ah, he didn't blow up parliament. But then later on in life, people are like, wait, he almost did it. Congratulations, buddy. It's really funny. Because there, there are a lot of... I remember when I was a kid... Like, I believe that uh, Guy Fawkes Night was 100% celebrating Guy Fawkes. Because it's like, oh yeah, he almost bloated up the parliament, and that must must mean the parliament were the baddies. And I guess they still are. <laughs> but uh, he almost did it. He almost did it. You know, it's, it's crazy. And then he got stalked. Skill issue, exactly. Hugo Weaving did it. Hugo Weaving did it. Why can't you, Guy Fawkes? More like Guy Fraud. That's pretty good. Guy Fraud? There we go. Guy Fraud. Hey, Guy Fraud. 
Do better next time. <laughs> GG. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Da, yep. Dun, dun. Did I do it? There we go. It's kind of a dumb holiday. Hey, you take that back. It's a time where we get to spend time around the fireplace and be cozy. And we put a little man on it and we burn him and we go, Hooray! <laughs> He's burning once again! There shan't be a year where he doesn't burn! Ah! At last, the end is near. Oh! Hey, Vaganti, what's up? Oh, God damn! I'm thirsty again now. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Whoa! That's like one of the bestest fucking weapons in the game! Woo! I love this weapon. This weapon's the tits. What am I gonna get rid of? Uh, I'm gonna get rid of you. Go in that bin, you. Alright, nice. Do I wanna save? Uh, yeah. Did you have some celebratory food? What did I have to eat today? Oh yeah, mum cooked me something today. Mum cooked me, um, she cooked me like a prawn dish with a bunch of goat cheese, um, some couscous, some courgette. It was very tasty. Mum's been really nice to me lately, I don't know. I feel like me and mum are, uh, we're helping each other out, like when times are getting tough, right? Like, I'm helping them out, uh, monetarily, and mum is helping me out by, by sometimes cooking me food, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, no, I, I, I love my mum. I think my mum's great. I have a very good mum, definitely. Also, let's read this. After a fierce and merciless struggle, Kaim arrives at the temple where a smiling mana awaits. She stands before the altar, guarded by devil spawn and spirits. It's pretty scary. I'm pretty scared. <gasps> I they must not oh! the altar. Stop. Stop them. I'm trying. They're just really fucking strong. Ow! Fucking dick! Sorry, I can't stand these freaks. Alright, there we are. This level, by the way, we're gonna have to return here later, because uh, there's some bullshit you need to do with the photo frames. Like, when I say bullshit, I mean genuine fucking bullshit. You aren't even gonna believe your eyes. God damn it! Ah! Alright, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Hang on. Fuck! Oh, never mind. It's fine. Fuck! Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Nice, nice. Fuck! Oh, God. Okay, get rid of him. Fuck! Oh my god, look how much health they get rid of! Jesus! Oh my god, they're so annoying. Okay, there we go. Alright. Yeah! Good shit. Look at that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! Go away, go away, go- OW! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. FUCKING BE GONE WITH YOU! How's my first blind playthrough of Drakengard going? It's going pretty well, thank you. Uh, I think this game is rubbish and nobody should play it. I'm only joking, I love this game.
Ow! I'm trying! These enemies are genuinely fucking difficult though, I can't help it. They hit like a goddamn freight train. Okay, there we go. Ugh, okay. Angelus does care. I actually think it's really sweet. Like I know it's I know it's fucking weird. <laughs> I know it is. I know it's weird. But I've played this game for so long, I'm like, ah, uh, just uh, it's fucking weird, but I don't know, it's also kind of weirdly happy that Kaim gets a happy ending, even though it's kinda of bizarre and weird and freaked up, I don't know. It's a very bizarre happy ending, that's for sure. Hey, Karakat, thank you so much for all the bits. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. You didn't have to do that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And then boom. And then boom. Nice. And then one, two, three, four. And then boom. Nice. Okay. Shut up, Mana. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah! Oh fuck! I may have messed up. God damn it! Oh, I may have messed up even. Hang on. Oh, I've oh I've spawned so many of them. This is the worst. All right, there we are. Ay! Ay! All right. No. The long battle against Bonies. Yeah, I know it's fucking annoying, right? Immortal Thunder. I hate it. Ow! Are we good? Are we done? Please be done. Die. Okay, fine. <gasps> Wait a minute. <gasps> oh! -hoo -hoo! You love to see it. Alright, good shit. Full health, baby. Dun, dun. Ow. Ow. Alright, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Run, run, run. Turn around. Bada boom. Bam. Alright. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, oh my god, now we're goddamn ghouls. There are fucking spooky specters every this bullshit! Fuck off, dickhead! Fuck off! Alright, there we are. Nice. I did it without even panicking. Fuck you, dickhead. Fuck you. Oh, fuck, I've got you. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. The seals are broken. Whatever you do now, I cannot be defeated. All right. Bet. Bet. Time said okay. All right, there we go. Thank you. Oh my god, annoying. Okay, good. Dead, 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 dead. Nice, 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 nice. And then... One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bail! Ah! Oh! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Run! Alright, there we go. Woo! One down. And... Fuck! Calm down! 
down! Stop it! Okay. Okay, wait, right, another one down. Good. Please be the last one. I'm gonna lose my fucking nut in a Such second. Easy. Really? Why? Stop! I'm so sick of this level! Go away! I'm sick of this! Okay, there we are. Fuck me! And then one more. Please be the final one. Oh my god. Fuck! I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying. This is a... Uh, this is not how you do fun video games though, Angelus. I hate to tell you. I really hate to tell you. Fuck off. I'm so mad. Fuck off. Fuck off. Don't you dare kill me. Don't you dare kill me. No! Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, fucking hell, video games. Oh, video games. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Do I sense rage? No, I love this game so much. I say as I snap the disc in half and fucking shatter into a bajillion pieces. No! Drakengard 1 is worth your time. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. It's all good. Ugh, groan zone. Give me a sec. Alright, so I was, I was just telling people that uh, we're almost at the... We're almost at the crazy moment. Even the rat died. Here's the thing. I will always die in this fucking level. This level is is piss. As in like it's uh, not like a piece of piss, which means it's easy. As in it's like dehydrated. Like you've been drinking for 24 hours kind of piss. Straight alcohol. Like dark, dark orange piss. It's the fact it goes on for so long, okay? It's the fact it goes on for so long. It's so annoying. Okay, here we are. Geordie! Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Welcome! Welcome to one of the worst levels in the game. I, I, I've decided right now. Because I always die at this fucking level. Okay. Okay. Die, prick. Nice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah! Alright, good shit. Would you love, rather have a long taxing boss fight or fast high octane fight? I mean, that'd be that'd be nice, but unfortunately, this this Mother is none is of those. This is like low octane spirits. fight. The priestess is in league with demons. Oh my god! Nice! Alright. And then we're gonna attract... I'm actually gonna attract all of them into one easy to deal with circle. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Okay, that's really nice, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this way, they're pretty much all dead. Nice. Are you all right? You must be strong. I'm trying, mummy. Okay. 
Alright, nice. Two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, good, 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 good. And then drag in all these guys. And then. Eww. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good. That's juicy. Nice. Okay. Ah! Fuck! God damn it, I always try so hard to get so far, but in the end, it matters only a little bit. Okay, hang on. Oh, this level's so hard. I hate it. Okay, good, good. La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay. And then there's one more over here. Good, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Fucking goddamn it. Ow. I'm gonna need a, another another chest soon, actually. It has struck me that I'm probably gonna die again, so I need that I need that heal. I need that heal or I'm fucked. Like that's that's the end of it really. Okay, good. I think it's Mona Marshall. I don't know if Mona Marshall voices Mana. She might. I know she voices Sere, that's for sure. Like, she definitely voices Sere and Angelus. I, I know that. But I don't know about, um, about Mana. It might be a, a different voice actress. But it might be. It might be. Again, it's been a while since I checked. Okay, good, good. Alright, nice. There you go. So if I use magic to counter this dickhead... Sherry Lynn. Okay, Sherry Lynn did the voice of, uh... Of Mana. That's fair. Alrighty. The seals are broken. Whatever you do. Okay, good, 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 good. Good. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it! Ah! I hate ghosts! I hate these ghosts in particular! All right, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Die, prick. Die, prick. Oh, thank God, okay. Then we got you. Two, three, four, good, good. I'm real, I, you know, honestly, Vendetta, at this point, I'm gonna agree with you. Kaim should have a gun. He deserves one at this point. He's been doing so fucking hard. God bless him. He deserves like an AK or something. I don't know. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I did it. Okay, In good. Child, oh, this? cool. More ghosts. I love it. Oh, please fuck off. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. Good. One, two, three, four. There you go. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, oh, hey. 
Okay, good, there we go. No! 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 Okay, there we go. Woo! Fuck! Die, die, prick. This is the guy that killed me last time. Die, 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 die. Do I still have to- Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Oh my god, this level is brutal! Oh my god, why? No! I'm gonna throw up my hands in, in, I'm not gonna throw up my hands in defeat. It's fine, this level is just a bitch, man. Ah! Okay, it's fine, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. This is easy! It's not even the worst, ah! He's gonna get me again. Ignore that. I don't like this level anymore. This level can suck my f fucking finger. I hate it. You know what I am going to do, though? I'm going to quickly BRB and grab myself uh, a drink. Because I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, you see. So I'm going to... It's literally, like, right next door, by the way. So uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back. One second, guys. Going to get myself a glass of water. And then we will continue. BRB. One second. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-ba. Huh. Okay, I got my water. Right. This time we're not gonna fuck up, are we? No, no we're not. We're actually gonna do this, we're gonna succeed. And everyone will hail us from, from this side of England to the next, okay? So here we go, let's get this done. Okay, die prick. Die, 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 die. Nice. If I can just save my health, that's all I really want. All I really want is to have, like, a decent heal near the end of it. It's those fucking mages that get you. The mages and these guys. Like, when they hit you, they do chip off a decent amount of health. And it's a real bastard. Thank God for invincibility frames. Holy shit. Handy dandy. But yeah, I think we should be able to uh, at least reach Mana today. Um, Mana's fight is frustrating. I'll say that. In my opinion, it's easier than this fucking mission. Like, this mission is just a... It's, it's an absolute bastard. So, I think if we get to Mana, no, we should be, like, good spirits. to go, right? 
That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Got a couple of funnies. Good, good, good. God damn it. You must be strong. I'm trying. Okay. And then one, two, one, two. By the way, do you guys have any uh any crazy plans for the evening? guys have any any nutty plans for this November actually in general I know that uh, I have checked the the weather times for when I go away on holiday and uh, oh boy it does appear like it's gonna be raining all week which is gonna be a little annoying but I don't know about you guys I don't have any problem with like walking around in the rain I think uh, nighttime rain walking is a uh, quite cozy so I'm, I'm hoping it will be it will still be nice regardless of the weather that's what I'm hoping, anyway. What do you think of Metal Gear Solid 2, by the way, so far, um, Glenn? For ages, that used to be my favorite Metal Gear game until I played Metal Gear Solid 3. Like, I never even, uh, I never even played Metal Gear Solid 3 until, um, until I played it, like, on stream. But that game is is amazing. Metal Gear Solid 3 is so good. I love it. Die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Help me! Okay, hang on, one sec. Give me that, give me that, give me that right now. <gasps> oh! oh my god, did you see that? That was so crazy. Oh! Oh, mama! Okay, good, good. No, you don't, you fucker. You fucking bastard! Why did you take off like a bajillion of my health? Fuck you! They speak. They speak. La, 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 la. Uh, sick of it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, no! Ow! Guys, I'm gonna die again. This sucks. This stinks. Man, I'm gonna die again. This fucking blows. You know what? Maybe, maybe I wanna, I wanna get like a better sword. Maybe I could raise a better sword. Maybe I should, maybe I should do a little bit of. No, no, that's cowardice. I can do this. I can totally do this. It's just gonna be difficult. Four, five, six, one. Fuck! No! I'm gonna lose my combo! Fuck! God damn it! Guys, I'm being bad at games. Guys! Help me! Luffy, help me! Aww. Okay, it's fine. Let's do it again. No complaints, only kill. They must not reach the altar. Stop them. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fuck. Defend. Good. Defend, defend, defend. Good. That's okay. 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 Hey! Alright, nice. Try blocking to save some health. I have been doing that, Savior! I've been doing that for the past three matches! So sometimes! 
the block is slower than the weapon swings. Does that make sense? It is so annoying. You kind of have to dedicate yourself to a, to a swing. It's just like Dark Souls. And then one, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. Mama, Fucking hell. Okay, there we go. Spirits. Priestess is in league. I'm 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 sick I'm sick of that guy's combo. I wanna be out of it immediately. Get up there, get that health. Nice. Good shit. You see guys, I've 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 got I've got the right idea in my head. I've got the right idea. See you later, Hannah. Have yourself a good night. Go. Okay. Alrighty. Good, 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 good. If I just save my my spells, actually, because these guys they don't need spells to be killed. Like, I can just kill them with a with a basic charge attack, right? So if I just save my magic for like the really big boys and maybe like the skeleton sorcerers, um, obviously not the skeleton sorcerers themselves, and also their uh, their thralls. That's not a bad idea. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste one now. We got enough boys walking around, there we are. Hell yeah, good good. Usopp I feel is so versatile and smart. Usopp is versatile and smart. The problem with Usopp is he isn't on Luffy's wavelength sometimes. And the whole thing with Luffy's wavelength is that sometimes the most unpredictable, unsafest method of doing something can actually work. It doesn't work all the time, but when it does work, my god it works. And that's the whole point. Usopp is a very interesting counter to Luffy, but it's so it's so perfect. It's so perfect. How are you doing? How can businesses contact you for any potential collab? Um, the only way I can imagine is through my email, but on the flip side, I feel like I'm not really doing many collabs lately uh, outside of, like, close friends. I'm trying to be a little bit more lost the word. I guess I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep things, not to my, I guess I am trying to keep things to myself, really. I'm trying to be a little bit more, um, a bit more private in my goings about. Selective, I guess. But that sounds rude, because it's definitely not selective. It's more like, um, if I trust somebody, then I'm going to have a collab with them, right? But it might take a while to build up that trust thing. But I do appreciate you, um, I really do appreciate you reaching out, by the way. I do. Uh, it means a lot. Like, I really, I, I really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. I'm just trying my best to uh, to be happy in my own life before I start like inviting more people who are, are more strangers than than like friends. You know what I mean? Like I don't mind playing with people who are strangers, not at all. It's just uh, when it comes to my own streams, I, I've got to admit I do I do slightly prefer having a bit more say in it for sure. Good. Good. Nice. 
this. Dodge. Still waiting for the Lord, uh, the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power watch through. We do want to do that 100%. This Obviously, me and uh, me and Buns are very, very busy. So we're trying to find like good time that matches up. Hey, Van Prouge, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Shit, what's up? Ah! Hello there, my old friend. Hello, it's great to see you again. Shit, I fucking missed you. Hello, it's wonderful to see you again. Hi. Hello, it's wonderful to see you. Ah, oh, I just got so happy. Hello. It's okay. No, no, you don't have to pop in here all the time. Just pop in whenever you're happy. You know what I mean? Pop in whenever you're, whenever you're feeling healthy and good. That's all that matters for me, so long as you're feeling okay. Where can I get the email? Uh, you can get it on my YouTube channel if you really want it. God damn it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. God damn it. I'm gonna lose my marbles! Okay, there we are. I did it! Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I am so sick to fucking go for you. Okay, there we are. Oh, thank God. That was terrible. I hated that. I love this game so much. But my God, I hate this game so much. I, I haven't really raged that much in this playthrough apart from this level. That that usually is the case though, I feel. This level in particular is uh, quite the bastard. Yes, testing my love, that's for sure. Sick of you, sick of your shit. Skelebell, thank you so much for the 69 bits. Thank you. Malem, lem, lem. Haha, funny number. Thank you so much. Such evil hatred in a child such as this. In a baby. In nothing but a baby. Good, good. But also, sorry, Vampirouge, you kind of popped in at uh, what I can only describe as the most frustrating part of the playthrough. I hate, I hate the sorcerers more than like anything right now. They are so annoying, and I just want them to die. Oh, thank God, did I do it? No, I fucking did it. Ooh. Hey, die prick, die prick, die prick, die prick, die prick, die prick. Thank you, prick. Ah! Aye! Ah! Where the fuck are you? You little fucking bastard! Oh, guys. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. I don't like this level very much. I don't like it that much at all, actually. So I'm just gonna do it again. Ooh. Is anyone else's stream lagging? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be lagging. Because right now it's uh that might be a Twitch thing. Because right now uh, on OBS uh, everything seems to be pretty damn good. So um, I think it might be a, a Twitch thing, honestly. Like it might depend on like region or whatever. Hmm. Okay, okay, alrighty. 
Here we go. They must not reach the altar. Stop them. Nope. No, you don't. 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 There you go. Okay. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six. We all nice. You're gonna wander over to feed some cats? That sounds like a luxury. Have fun. Yeah, that sounds really good, actually. Have a good time. I want to volunteer soon. I want to do some volunteering work at a at a kitty cat shelter. Not even a kitty cat shelter, just like an animal shelter, really. Like lately, I've been so smitten with uh, with the idea of owning a dog. I really, really wanna wanna get a dog and like go out for walks with it. And I know it's like a really big commitment as well. And I understand that, and I'm okay with that. I just want a dog. I want a puppy. Okay. Die, 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 die. Mana is protected by an evil spell. An evil spell. Justice is in need of demons. Oh my god, Verdley, that's crazy. I don't remember fucking asking. Let me find that out for myself. Took a couple of a couple of uh, weak old kittens, and feeding them is a treat for me. That's so cute, I love that. See, that's the problem, I worry about being like a foster. Cause I, I know for a fact I'll be a foster fail. Well like the entire point of being a foster is to have like a cat with you until it's well enough to be like sent on to other families. But I'll be like, no! My cat, I won't ever give it away! Yeah, I know, Mana's just having a, a fucking party, good for her. She's watching Five Nights at Freddy's on her phone. Have you guys seen the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I did, actually. I did see it. It's like a piece of shit, but it's, it's quite well produced. That's my review of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It's a piece of shit, but it looks pretty good at points. And there were some plot points which I thought could have worked a little bit. Yeah. And then the ending credits gave me an aneurysm, and then I turned the movie off. Uh, yeah! Nice. Ow! Yowza. Probably end up keeping them, they're too gremlin to let go. See, again, it's like, I've said this before, Curse, but I really would, um, you turn the cinemas off? Yes, I did. In fact, I also have friends who might own certain things where you can watch movies legally through the internet, and, and me being a British, I was like, oh, well, what's it do? And so I got to watch it as well. <laughs> yeah. I would rate it movie of all time. The movie of all time. <laughs> You're a British! I know, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, it's okay. Don't worry, I know the internet joke about us a lot, but. We're fine, really. We're fine. We just kind of hang out, really. We just kind of hang out. We just kind of chill. We're gonna chill and eat like crumpets and shit. The watchers. They speak. The watchers. They speak. La 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 la. The watchers. They dance. Ah! Go away. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go. Ooh! What's a crumpet? Crumpets are weird. They're kind of, um, they're little, whatchamacallit. Uh, it's not like a biscuit, no. It's, it's, it's really soft. 
it's like a... I wouldn't even call it bread. No, it's not even bread. It's like, um... It's kind of moist. It's it's filled with holes. Uh, it's like... Not like a croissant. No, not, it's not like a scone either. Like, you'll know what I mean when you say... Like, when you say, like, oh yeah, crumpets are kind of, like, moist. Like, they're kind of moist and they're holy, and then you put them in a toaster and it makes them not moist and holy. Yeah, a little bit rubbery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're really good with butter. Like, they're really good with butter. Like, mochi? No. Sponge cake-like? No. It's like a crumpet. This is one of those things where you have to say, like, okay... Guys, I hate to tell you this, but a crumpet is like a crumpet. There's no other way you can really explain it. Like, ask any other British person in the audience, or anybody who knows what a crumpet is. Like, you've eaten a crumpet, right? Have you ever tried explaining what a crumpet is like to eat? They're like moist, little, holy... Not cakes, but they're not bread. They're like... Things. They're crumpets. That's the best way to explain that. It sounds fucking dumb, but there's really no other way you can say. You know what? Pancake. Okay, honestly, pancake might be the best way to, to say. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to pause it. They, they can be sweet. Yeah, I like to have mine with honey. Um, so, crumpets are like, initially, savory, holy pancakes that you put in a toaster and then you eat it with honey and butter or like anything really i have people who put marmite on their crumpets which is i love marmite but don't put it on crumpets what are you thinking that's that's ridiculous a crumpets different than english muffins yes Vaguely, I think. What's Marmite, Precious? Marmite is basically, uh, Vegemite. It's basically Vegemite. Um, it's Vegemite, but with less spices. So it's, it's just the like yeast extract, right? And I happen to quite enjoy it. It's, uh, disgustingly addictive. Sorry, sick of this. <sighs> Fucking die. Die. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm running. I'm running. Alright. Hello. Are you fucking kidding me? What are English muffins? Imagine muffins made in the UK. There you go. There you go. Thought it was a weird way to spell marmalade. I like marmalade. I like homemade marmalade. Homemade marmalade's the shit. When it still has like the the orange rind in it. Ah, oh, baby. So good. We must destroy them. We must destroy them. I'm taking care of this prick first. This fucking dickhead. Always the one that kills me. Yes. Die, asshole. Okay. Thank fuck for that. Oh, I'm sick of you. I don't care if it's gonna fucking rebound in. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Die, prick! Only the priestess oh. If she can be stopped. Only the priestess, huh? Then why can't I kill her yet? Why? I have to be such a cautious little boy right now. I. Please die! Please die! I'm so sick of this. 
I'm sick of it! Guys, I'm gonna die again. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, I'm gonna die again, guys. Guys, I'm sick of this. Guys. Oh my god, look at that health! Oh! Fuck that! Stupid fucking level! Oh! Oh, I hate it so much! Oh my god, okay, freedom, freedom! That was so bad, I hated that! Wasn't a fan. Can't call myself a fan. Alrighty. At last, Mana stands alone. Verdele stops Kaim from exacting his revenge. The killing of a child. No matter how evil, is a crime too great for any soul to, <gasps> to, bear, to bear. Oh my god, Verdele, that was gross. Instead, Verdele steps towards to mercifully seal to mercifully seal the evil within the child. But as he begins to chant his spell mercifully. Oh yeah, we're not gonna kill it. We're just gonna pump it full of evil spirits. Are you fucking kidding me, Verdele? No wonder Kaim kills you. It must be the child that's at fault here. Not the grown-ups. It Please, must be I the child. Her. This is my duty. Oh my god, my phone. <laughs> yeah. Pathetic. Pathetic. Hello, Varus Marxia. How's it going? Welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ending A. It's these kind of FMVs in games. I feel like that's because most modern games, like, the graphics are kind of catching up to the FMVs. You can't really tell what's the difference. She breaks the seal and becomes Alrighty, here we go, guys. I'm probably gonna die a few times. Um, this fight is something else. I, I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of this, this particular duel. Um, just because the camera can get real fucky sometimes. Did you see that? Oh my god. That was crazy. Okay, here we are. Ow! Stop smiling at me like that, you fuck. I'm here to kill you! Nice, ow. Hey there, Katana. I have oh fuck, I've got to turn around, goddammit. Ow. Okay, okay. Well, we, have, we got some hits in. That's good, at least. Do you guys like this music, by the way? What a banger. Alright, wait for it. 
Sorry, I've got to remember the mechanics again. You've got to be really fucking fast. Okay, there we are. This remind me of this reminds me of like an anime I watched recently. Oh, it kind of okay. They're gonna sound dumb, right? It kind of reminds me of the fuck shit you see happening like Jujutsu Kaisen lately. Like Jujutsu Kaisen's been so nuts that seeing like a giant demonic little girl float up from the city that can like kill everybody in one shot. That sounds like something that could probably happen in like the current arcs. It's pretty crazy. I also caught up with the manga lately too. I, I wasn't expecting like 90% of a shit that happened to happen, but my god. Pretty crazy. They sure did happen, and uh, my god. It was, it was shocking. I was shocked. Yeah, exactly. She's, she's uh, generating a domain. Yeah. Does the child cry for diet? May the gods have mercy. I cried for Gaia when I was like 14. Cause I couldn't get the uh I couldn't get the costumes I wanted. I was really sad. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was scary. Hey there, Captain J. Hello there, Helen Lacroix. Hello there, welcome, welcome my friends. The video I watched of what the thing to buy near. Hmm, it got you to buy Nier, but it didn't get you to buy Drakengard. Interesting. I, I see I failed. <laughs> it's okay. I, I understand. I know not everybody wants to play this fucking game. I, I get it. I get it. It's, uh, dare I say, a bit janky. You have Drakengard on your Steam Deck? No way. That's sick. I love that. That's great. Now this, I, I've said this many times before, the, the, the noise that we hear just reminds me of the intro to the Helsing anime. There's like an instrument that plays in the end where, uh, oh, I'm, I'm dead. Where, uh, well, what's her name again? Blondie British? Where Blondie British lady goes to lick the sword and there's like this music like, it's like really creepy music. Also, I'm dead. Oh, never mind, I'm fine. It reminds me of that. I have a PS2 emulator on my Steam Deck. I'll be honest, I, I need one too. I need one too. Oh, no! Saddest Victoria? That's what I said. Blondie British. I don't remember stuttering. It's very interesting. <laughs> Sorry. Giant. What monster is this child? You got pretty far. Thank you. I need to get better at this intro. This intro is the one that always gets me. Just keep getting up. There you go. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Hey, Karakat! Shit, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. At least he didn't go for big, 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 big bazonga. Big bazonga, please go. That was you, Lamp. That was you. You're the one who went there. <laughs> You're the one who went there. Hey there, Oceano. What's up? Woo! Nice. God damn it. It was a Helsing Ultimate of British Rep Oh, see, I've never seen that before, so I wouldn't know. I, I've never seen it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah! Okay, there we are. Nice. Please get her. Please get her. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, good. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh, guys, we are not doing too bad, actually. We're not doing too bad at all. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Release that. Nice. Hey. So far, so good. I think the uh, the real problem starts kicking in when she summons her uh, 
phase two of the barrage of bullshit? Phase two of this is, uh, really not fun. I, I do not have fun! This one! This is the one I'm talking about. This fucking one. Can you see anything that's happening right now? Because I fucking can't. You can't on the PS2 either. Number two, baby! Yeah! Mother, mother. That was pretty easy! Nice! I'm pretty- I'm pretty happy. I was- I wasn't so bad. That was actually pretty decent. Nice. Okay, happy days. See this this bit this bit I, I always feel like oh god I feel I feel so bad for Mana. Like I know she killed a, a bunch of people. But she's also still a baby. I feel very, very bad for her here. It is their last judgment. We will be transformed. It's like she wasn't born this way. We are love. She did this because she wanted the love of her mother, and that's really, 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 really sad. She just wants to be loved. It's really sad. Kill me if you want. Come on, warrior. Kill me. Kill me. Don't hold back. Whoopity whop. Kill, Kill little mana. mana. I remember Kill those lines. Mama. I am loved. I am loved, you know. See? Mother has to love me. The gods love me. <laughs> Oh my god. Kill me. If you don't, I'll, I'll do something. If you hate me, then kill me. Kill me. Just one big smash. Don't hate Wait me. Wait until the, the other ending Please. for that one. Die, <laughs> Believe me, I think uh, Sari and the Golem have a, a couple of things to say. Why you can do it. I don't mind. Kill me. Kill me. I don't mind. Kill me. Please. Time show. You will not die so easily. <laughs> Even in ending A, we are like, oh, we won! Like, I feel like this cutscene, you're like, we won? Did, did, did we win? This doesn't feel like winning. You will suffer under the unbearable weight of your crimes. You are beyond hope! Yeah, I was gonna say, for a lot of people that are wondering, this is known as the happy ending. <laughs> this is the happy ending. Who shall become the seal? We must find a new goddess at once. Another yeah, this is the happiest ending. Seal. Get fucking I ready, Sparkster. I am an executioner. Warm me as you did before. Warm wife. Yeah. That's basically a wedding ring. Yes, I feel better now. Ah. I shall be the seal. No human can match oh. my strength. Sorry, the, the 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 game couldn't handle that apparently. But do you know what you offer? You had best do it before I change my mind. Whoa. Oh, this cutscene always makes me sad, man. Like, even though the whole mana bit makes me feel sad, this bit always gets me too. Oh. It is over. Awaken from the spells of the gods. 
Mana pleads with Kaim and Verdele for death, but they coldly push her away. As Verdele wonders who shall become the next seal, the dragon speaks. I shall be the seal. Verdele and Kaim stare back in surprise. Does a dragon offer itself for mankind? A change has been wrought in the dragon's proud heart. That change will save all of humanity. See, that, that, that's, that's nice. And then Drakengard 2 happens, and it kind of, it's, Drakengard 2, I don't hate. I don't hate it, but I kind of wish this ending was just left like this, right? Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, precious. No! Dragon wife, no! This bit's sad, man. Oh, watch it. No. Oh, man. I have never seen you. It's mad. It gets me emotional, dude. I don't know. It's sad. There is but one thing I wish for you to remember. Angelus. Oh. So beautiful. <laughs> Where? No! Don't turn into a bubble. No! Oh man! <laughs> this moment could be ruined by Kaim going. I am Kaim. Well, thankfully he doesn't. Ye gods, is it your will that we should live on? Oh. Oh, look at all the blood, man. It's so crazy. Like that's just the initial seal as well. Like that's nothing to say about what it does to her what it does to her body over the years as well. It's so messed up. Poor old Angelus, man. There you go, Drakengar, the anguish of an unsmiling watcher. <gasps> Ooh. It's pretty cool. But yeah, we did it. Ending A. Ending A. On sacrifices countless. Oh my god, it's Kaim. Will a new shrine be built by the hands of the gods. That was Kaim. Four endings remain, and we are gonna get them. We're gonna get all of them. Yes, we are. But yeah, I was gonna say, sorry guys, if you're expecting giant flying demon babies off the cuff, no. You have to be a little bit more patient for flying giant flying demon babies, I, I, I'm afraid to say. All right, now, I don't wanna end straight away. I wanna level up a couple of my, um, my weapons, if you don't mind. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then we can just uh, spit the shit about a couple of things while we're waiting. Uh, so let me let me have a look. Free expedition, yeah. And then we're gonna. Oh, I'll go for the castle environs. Why not? It's it's just level one. Like it's nice and simple, nice and simple. But we do have a few very very good weapons that we want to. Uh, we want to make. But look at look at how scrungly she looks here. Oh my god, she gets so big! Holy shit! Whoa! If you wish to live, trust only yourself. Only then. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Let's uh, get some of these these weapons up. All right, so we don't want that one. We want to level up. Uh... 
honestly, Moonfire. Like, I know Moonfire is, uh, without a doubt, like, the shit when it comes to these weapons. It's very, very good. Uh, it also shouldn't take that long for us to level up either. Just because it's quite, uh, it's quite a powerful, quite a powerful blade, you see. I know, yeah. The weapon swapping looks so cool in this game. Honestly, Gabby, it's it's not bad. Like you just press that, and then you, you yeah, you just like check out all these fucking cool weapons you can get. It's it's nice. It's like quite quick as well. So I I have yeah no complaints here. It works it works pretty decently. Yeah, I'm only going to level up um, one weapon today, I think. I want to at least get uh, Moonfire to level 2. Everything else, like, it's fine, but I can probably do that off-stream, honestly. I just want to hang out with you guys a little bit longer. I miss UI designs that have uh, cute little touches like that. You want to know what it reminds me of, kind of? It reminds me of uh, World of Warcraft's UI. Specifically the... Uh, the little, like, pigeon on the bottom right. You know, the one that, like, pecks in your score? That one, yeah, yeah, the one that pecks in your score. It reminds me of World of Warcraft. Um, there are quite a few bits of UI that remind me of WoW in this game. And it's really cool. It's also really good. I don't know, the, the map itself. I don't know about you guys. That's a good map. Like, look at that. You you don't need to know anything else. Like, there, there are the enemies. There are you. Fucking go crazy. Go ham. There's your target. Go get it. I love it. It's great. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Holy shit. Oh. 214 more. Okay. Reminds me of Shadow of a Colossus. Colossus? Shadow of a Colossus? Shadow of the Colossus, but faster. Was Shadow of a Colossus that slow? I don't remember it being that slow. Maybe I'm a... I might be thinking of the PS4 version, though. Like, I have played the original, but I can't remember it that well. I, I love it, though. I love that game. So good. Cats have been extra affectionate tonight. Nice, good. Is that at the uh, the Cattery Vendetta, or am I am I thinking about some? Sorry, my fucking memory is so trash. Am I thinking of someone else who was in the Cattery? Nice. Should I play PS2 or the remake? I'd say play the PS2 version first, dear. Um, then play the remake if you enjoyed it. Like, if you really love the PS2 version, then I don't think there's any harm in, like, trying out the remake. Not at all. Not at all. But there's there's no harm in playing the fucking remake either. It's really a personal preference, I guess, but... I, I always like to know where a game... a game came from, right? But I, I have been known to break that rule before. Like many times before, to be fair. Nice. Tend to go for the originals unless there's a ton of quality of life stuff. There are quality of life things in the PS4 one. I, I, I'd honestly recommend searching it up, but I think the thing which the, uh, again, the, the remake is kind of, it's, it's yeah, it's as uh, Scrussel said, it's a little controversial because I feel like a lot of people saw the design choices in the OG. The fact that it's like such a barren wasteland, they kind of played that into the story itself. Like the idea that this, this land is a... Uh, so barren and void of and void of life, only the occasional tree, the occasional... Because the only thing that's meant to be living in it are the fucking Colossus, right? But slowly life has been forming so it can live, it can live inside. But in the remake, there's a ton of, like, 
beautiful life and foliage everywhere. And I'm not trying to say that's bad, but I did kind of appreciate the barren look it gave in the original. Also, nighty night, Lamp. Have yourself a good one. Have yourself a great night's sleep. Yo, Fahen. Is that how I pronounce your name, by the way? Fahen. I, I love that we're on the same brain length. <laughs> the same wavelength, even. Uh, yeah, I agree. Drakengard 1 is is a, a very, very unique game. And I've said this many times, but it would not exist in any other, any other time than the 2000s. And I think something like that deserves remembrance. It deserves... A little bit of our respect, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking weird. Yes, it may be not the best game in the world, but everything that it spawned afterwards, my god. Hey, Celeste, what's up? Oh, five day holiday, nice. Where did you go? Did you go somewhere nice? Uh, as far as how I'm going, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. We're just, uh,. As per usual, we're slaughtering dudes, um, getting points on the old weapons. Nothing much, really. There we are. 71, very nice. Okay, ay -ya! Oh man, I've got to start googling like what are the best weapons in this game again. Like I, I know I use Moonfire a lot in my playthroughs. It's uh, very, very efficient at just um, not being like not only just being good at magic, but as a general decent DPS weapon, it's pretty damn good. But I can guarantee you there are probably weapons that are much, much better that I just neglect because it's not what I would pick as a child, right? So I've got, to, I've got to actually, maybe I should start going for the meta if I want to make this playthrough a, uh, a bigger, a, a fucking speed run. You went to Tuscany for Italy's biggest convention. Whoa, that's so cool, neat. How are um, Italy's? Uh, I, I'm guessing, is it like a video game thing? Like an anime thing? Sorry, those are the only two things I like. <laughs> Um, but if it was for anything else, like, let me know. How are, how are conventions in, uh, in Italy? Because I'd love to, uh, I'd love to go to different countries and experience different conventions. I'd love to go to, like, Finland and experience conventions there and shit. I don't know. There are a lot of, a lot of cool places I want to visit, you know? Nice. Just read your fucking comment, bloody Heartland. Did it. Yeah, I'm surprised something like that hasn't happened again. That that sure was a a moment, wasn't it? That sure was a moment in history. But I'm sure people want us to forget about. It was very, very strange. A Finland convention? I was at one not too long ago. Hey, nice, sweet. How are they? Again, sorry, I keep on, I just, I become more and more infatuated with going on big adventures, okay? You have to understand. Please forgive me. Pebbly! Hey, buddy. How's it going, Pebbly? What's up, man? How's it going, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Hello. Oh, I feel sorry for those two. My bad. Small rat, big adventures. That's me. I don't know. Like, I've said it before. I'm just getting so... It feels like the magic of content creation is really... How can I put it? I, I'm starting to realize that I do love it, 
but I'm also really valuing my 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 kind of private life as well, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like the fact that it feels like I can't just log off and enjoy my private time. Like, I always have to be working, or I always have to be, like, posting some fucking bullshit on Twitter to make sure people remember me. That's bullshit! I don't want to do that anymore, man. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. It's fucking miserable. It's miserable. I just want to be happy. That's all I want to be in life. I just want to be happy. So guess what? Twitter ain't that. If not posting on Twitter makes me happy, then my god, that sounds juicy. Alright, there we are. What gets me down is how Twitter and the like keep trying to shut down smaller creators. It sucks. It does suck. Um, don't let it get you down, alright? Because small creators have existed for years and years, and small creators are never going to go away. They're never going to go away. Never, never, never. Um, so, the best thing to do, get yourself wrapped up in circles, you know? Get yourself wrapped up with friends who, who know how all of that shit works. Artists, uh, as as old whatchamacallit said in Jurassic Park, life will find a way. And so artists too will also pave the way for the future. Just be happy in life? That sounds like some crazy talk right there. Yeah, I know, I've never really... How can I put it? I feel like my own happiness was always kind of pushed to the side to like try and make people proud of me, right? But I feel like when, when when that happens, when people are like, oh, wow, look at you, you're finally doing it, and you're not happy, then it's like, what's the point? I I, I, I do things so... I, I'm definitely the most toxic person to myself, right? There are main forces here. But yeah, like, when you, uh... When you reach your dream, but you're not happy, that is more depressing than anything ever. So right now I'm like, you know what? I just wanna, in a way, I almost just wanna be quiet on certain places. I wanna like go live on Twitch. I wanna post my little live thing on Twitch or on like, you know, my Twitter account. I wanna unretweet it by the end of the day. And then I just wanna let my my Twitter accounts, maybe not my, my VTuber one, because I still do need to post there for like, um, just, Twitch related fucking things, but my other one, I don't need two Twitter accounts. I can just let one comfortably rest until I need to post video updates. I don't need to post on it all the time. I don't need to. Like, it is not important to my life, right? Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Nice. Oh my god, there are still a few naughty boys over there. Holy shit, they're actually, this level actually kind of goes on for a while, doesn't it? Oh, I keep forgetting it. Exactly, Richard, yeah. If you want online interactions, you got friends and streams. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Now, yeah, you get it, you get it. I don't know, it's, it's weird, but it took me 30 years to start valuing my privacy. <laughs> But I definitely do now. I, I I want like hobbies that I can uh, keep to myself. You know, I want to go out and do things by myself without having to share it as a story online. You know. And I understand that is that is like the antithesis of growing your fucking channel. I know you're supposed to put yourself out there. You're supposed to like you know, constantly be on social media. But if that's what gets you to like a bajillion subs, I don't know if I want that. I think I'm okay with being niche. And I mean that, I really truly mean that. I'm happy with it. Whee! 
you. You'll just burn yourself out fast if you do. Well, that's the problem, Vamp Rouge. I, I already have. Like, I, I, I... I said a few months ago, I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm I'm out of my my burnout stage. It's it's a lot easier said than done. I think when you get kind of caught, like especially when um you know like when the the stress kind of gets to you, um it's really difficult to get yourself back in like the grind mindset, if you know what I mean. Like ever since my uh oh pardon me. Ever since my little uh, hospital visit the other month, I've really tried to prioritize my own health and shit. And I realized that a lot of it has to do with just spending less time. You know, now obviously this isn't the, I will say, this isn't the reason for like why I fucking went into hospital, like God no. But um, it, let's just say the stress didn't help, right? The stress didn't help. So it's like, right, how do we, how do we let go of stress? I know, by having a chill. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay, fam. Like, trust me, I, I'm I'm okay. Um, but yeah, I, I had to go to the hospital a few months back, um, just because of uh, health issues, I'll say. And it kind of it kind of left me feeling a bit like, uh, 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 uh. like it, it it knocked me out. Let's just say that it kind of uh, threw me for a loop. Like I think I had to take a break from streaming for like. You like a month, which is crazy because I fucking love streaming. But yeah, no, like don't worry about me, guys. How can I put it? After going, after going there, um, I you know it does kind of make you realize that oh, I I have a lot of stuff I need to I need to kind of fix. I have a lot of stuff I need to work on and focus on, like make myself stronger and blah blah blah. The same old fucking bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we get it. Fucking sad boy. Wah, wah. Hope the doctors were able to help. They they definitely were, yeah. They, they, I, I'll always be so fucking ha uh, thankful to the NHS. Especially when the NHS helped, right? Like, there have been times, especially within the last few years, where, you know, sending loved ones into the hospital when it's so busy, but they have no extra hands. You know. It, it, it really... It, it just makes you think, like, oh my god, like, I... Ah, oh, like, like, ugh, my family member is dying! Please, God! This is, like, such a... Oh, it's so stressful, but there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. You just kind of have to... You have to let them do their thing. You have to let them do their thing and uh, maximum respect. Maximum respect. Ow. Stop it. Okay, hang on. How much more do we need on the old flamberge? Hospitals will always leave you feeling vulnerable for a while. You say that, it made me hungry. I went to the hospital and there was a guy wearing a Greg's hoodie. It's like, why are you wearing, why are you, why? Why, why the Greg's hoodie? Why? Is it that important to you, really? Ow. Nice. Okay, there we are. I bet Kaim doesn't feel too stressed. He should. There's all kinds of crazy shit around here. 
<laughs> you aren't whining. No, no, it's, it's okay. I, I get I'm not whining. It's just uh, sometimes when I talk about it too much, it's like uh, I, I, I don't want. I don't want to just be like, ah, oh, here we go, talking about this again. Blah blah blah. Like, I, I get it. I get it. It's just uh, sometimes there's not really much else you can talk about when you're just trapped inside your fucking house. And it's like, oh god. Oh. Hey, Onion Knight. What's up? Hello. All right, there should be enough over here. If I remember, there's a ton of archers that will get me a lot of experience. Weapon experience, I mean. Is there a boulder trapping you in my house? Holy shit! That was unironically the most harshest way you could have fucking spelt that, but also you are not wrong. There is not a boulder in front of my house. I can technically leave the house whenever I want. You're absolutely correct. Uh, but the biggest problem with that is I want to go outside But I'm also a very very Introverted person so I need to really build up the goddamn strength of will to actually start doing the hobbies That I want to do So it's gonna it's gonna take a while. I think but It'll be all right destroyed shut up. No No Nice. <laughs> I didn't mean it. No, it's okay, bloody. I was only teasing. Don't worry. Trust me. I, I, I will say this guy. Like, don't worry about banter and stuff like that. Like bantering and everything. Um, if you're if if you are genuinely offending me, you'll probably know because I, I'll, more than likely you're banned. <laughs> but uh, it, it's all good. So don't worry. Trust me. Like, I, I feel like I'm quite lenient with, uh, with, like, stuff in here anyway, so. Unless you just come in here, like, screaming up a storm and, like, dropping a bunch of no-no words. Uh, it should be fine. Ow. 15. Nice. What are some hobbies you want to do? I've said this before, like, many, many times on stream, but uh, I, I the, the one hobby I really want to do more than anything right now is uh, nature hiking, nature camping, and wild camping. Uh, yeah, like wild camping, man. I want to go like camping in some really remote areas and like nobody can ever find me. I'm just like hiding in like a, underneath a bridge. I'm like a troll under a bridge. That's what I want to do. I just want to get out in nature more, man. I want to I enjoy the great outdoors. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I was going to say, man. Fucking when Kaim falls on his bum, he falls on his bum. It's crazy. The thing they do in Yuru Camp is real? Shut up. Stop. Stop saying the thing which kind of made me want to go camping. Stop. Yuru Camp was a rabbit hole, man. I started watching Yuru Camp and I was like, wow. Camping sounds really cool. And then I started watching actual real life people going camping. And I was like, whoa. That looks really cozy. Now whenever I go to bed, I can't sleep without listening to my uh, camping for 12 days in the fucking Canadian wilderness using my bow and arrow and fucking fishing rod. I love that shit. So good. I like camping. I like hiking, but I hate camping. See, I think that's the thing. I, I used to hate camping, but then I realized, hang on a minute. Technically, the things I've hated when camping have been bad what am I trying to say? They've just been bad camping trips. And like any day, we have good days and bad days, right? There are going to be good camping days, and there are going to be bad camping days. There are going to be some days where there's more, like, condensation on the inside of your tent, 
There are some days where you might get a few more midges in, like, your tent and stuff like that. There are some days where, like, the fucking tent poles are going to fly out and it's going to give you an absolute headache. But yeah, that's why you gotta, you gotta try, try your best and make it, make it the camping trip that you wanna do. I did it. There are the days when the bow, when the bowls, when the bears roll up in the hood. See, the great thing for me, right? I live in the UK. The only, the only animal that can really get me is like a badger or a fox. Other than that. We don't, we don't have any predators. It's pretty good. But like, foxes just want to keep them, keep them. Oh my god, sorry, that is such a slick sword, yeah. Nice. Oh. Combos, three to six, Mario Dragon Speed, level two. Nice, that's pretty cool. Do you want to save? Yeah. But there are barely, barely anywhere you can camp that isn't someone's property. That's why you go wild camping in the middle of the fucking wilderness so nobody can tell you off. Hey, oh, <laughs> nice. All right, hang on. Oh, I'm stretching. Moose will fuck you up. Oh, sorry, I forgot to. Uh, yeah, there we are. Moose, Moose will fuck you up. It's true. It's true. I need to burp again. Oh, disgusting. All right, one sec, guys. I'm going to quickly find out where... Drakengard one weapons guide. All right, here we go. I want to see... So, Castle of the Goddess. Reject the cookies. I reject your cookies, sir. Thank you. What was it fucking called again? God, my memory. Castle of the Goddess. Okay, there we are. Castle of the Goddess. Goddess. Uh, Castle of the Goddess. Castle Keep. Kill all enemies in a certain room. The stairs that lead... Hang on a minute. Is this... Oh, good. It's free mode. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, kill all enemies... Uh, including the towers? What? You what? Robber King, Castle Key. Kill all enemies in a certain room. Okay, I can do that. Let's go get a weapon while we're here. Why not? Oh, by the way, guys, uh, do not forget BTW. Uh, but if you have a Twitch Prime subscription, uh, you'll know that because it's next to your name. It's a, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little crown with a little bit of blue in it. Did you know you can use that on me right now? And not only do I get paid, you also get a shit ton of very free emoji that you can use and annoy your friends with. Yeah, yeah, like that one. Yeah, like that one, Richard. Exactly. Sorry. I, uh, oh my God, I got possessed. I got possessed by the. By the ghost, by the the ghost of a uh, uh, selling. Scatter them all. Yeah, like that one, Pebbly Pirate. Exactly. Thank you very much, by the way. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. All right, so I, I have just noticed we have a a time limit, which is worrisome. So let's try our best to be as quick as possible because we only have half an hour to do this. Uh oh. I've seen moose near my parents' summer house. Moose are pretty scary, aren't they? Like, I've heard that when moose are in, like, uh, the mating season, they get so fucking violent, it's crazy. Like, they'll just charge you and fuck you up. Like, I know they're the size of goddamn double-decker buses. Okay. Very nice. 
Hello there, Zero Vante. It's been a while since I caught a stream. Hope you're doing well. Oh, buddy, I'm doing swimmingly, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, moose are so fucking big. Like, I remember hearing somewhere about, like, the size of a double-decker bus. Is that even true? I mean, I'm sure some are, right? I'm sure some are fucking mahoosing. Okay. Yeah, that is so scary. Why do we allow these things to live? They're too big. They're gonna have an uprising soon. I know it. All I'm saying is, how do moose taste? I'm joking, by the way. Moose are cool. They can weigh a few metric tons, just like me! Have I ever tried chocolate mousse? <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> very epic. I like it. <laughs> I've got them through the wall, fucking wankers. Ah, <laughs> that was beautiful. All right, good shit. Okay. One, two. One, two. Nice. Uh, where am I going? I had a neighbor that went moose hunting with a fucking crossbow and he'd come home and share cooked moose with everyone uh, for the entire winter. Holy shit, what does moose taste like? Like, I'm curious. Oh, Van Prouge, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Bless your heart. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd imagine it tasting like venison. Yeah, same. The only thing is, like, I don't know, moose look kind of, kind of tough, right? They look really gamey. I can't do much. I do what I can. And you know what? Honestly, you could watch this shit for free. If watching it for free is what you can do, then I'm happy with that. Just, uh, don't ever, and I, 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 I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Don't ever support me if you can't support yourself. Always support yourself first. And then if you are like, you know what? I feel comfortable at this point where I can support a stinky little Twitch streamer. Then by all means. By all means. Moose are a bit spicy. Spicy? Can you explain that? Spicy. How does moose taste spicy? A spicy moose? can make a spicy meatball. Ah! It might have been, it might have been the herbs and spices. Maybe. I don't know, is there any animal in like the wild that can taste spicy other than like poisonous tree frogs? All I'm saying is, if the frogs don't want us to lick them, then maybe they shouldn't look so fucking delicious. Have they ever thought about that? Checkmate, frog. Ow! 
God damn it, I hate this dickhead. Yeah, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good, get in there. He's gonna win! No! You dickhead! Ow! Fucking prick! Ow, oh, whatever. Fine. Oh, I got pushed down the stairs. I hate these enemies so much. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both, buddy. Oh, they're annoying. Sorry, my, my phone keeps telling me I'm on low battery. I get it. I know you might not be able to maintain this rat form for that much longer, but don't worry. I just want to do this mission, get a sword, and then duck. Is this the right way? I guess we'll see. Oh my god, look at all of these friends! That felt good. That felt pretty good. I don't know about you. Wiping out an entire room with like one spell? Priceless. God damn it, I wasted my charge and a fine. <laughs> Spices are supposed to deter predators. Uh, we are the weird animals who love them. Yeah, I was gonna say, I never really, like, when I was younger, spice used to actually hurt me, right? It used to be so painful. But now I, I actually quite like spicy food. Um, why can't you charge and use it again? Because you have to run to like get this uh, anime flash around you like that, that little like flash. Then you can use the charge. So you have to like run and then like run a bit more and charge. It's fucking annoying, but what can you do? One down there. The OST seems to be like a great panic attack generator. Yes! Intentionally! Isn't it great? By the way, I'm trapped in the room. Hey! Okay, no, I'm fine. Right, so it's definitely not anything around here, because I've wiped out this entire floor. Okay. I hate when they say, like, oh, yeah, you can get this weapon in a specific room. Okay, guide. Tell me where it is, then. Ah, oh, hello, boys. Oh, -hoo -hoo. I did it, Daddy! I did the murder, Daddy! Daddy, 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 murder! <laughs> Sorry. Hello there, Katsu Blood. How's it going, buddy? You alright? Ra-da-da-da! 
Is there anything in here? No. Okay. Fuck you then. Fuck. Okay, you know what? No. I'm going to go this. I'm going to be a freaking rebel right now. I'm going to be an absolute unhinged character. Here we are. I'm just going to run here and get the armor and pull the over it. You're all the way down there. You thought you could escape me. Hang on. <laughs> Fun. Okay, here we are. Sorry, I saw an excuse to murder and I had to I had to take it. You must understand. Hello, boy! Farewell, boy! Okay, good, good. That's that one down. Will I be able to make this in time? I actually have no idea. Right now, I'm fucking stuck! Yeah, give me that one. Yum, yum. Ah! A whole group of little buggers just ready for the slaughter. Hello, big boy! There we go. Oh, it. Oh. Wait. Did I not get the weapon upgrade? Wait. No. Please, no. No. I mean, it does save the stuff I got. It's just annoying because I have to fucking. Ugh. Never mind. I, I think it should be okay. No. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make this real easy for us. Don't worry about it. Let's check this out. Watch. Here we are. Okay, castle environs. Don't worry about it, guys. Look, you're, you're panicking too much. Guys, relax a little bit, okay? Loosen those shoulders, all right? We'll get through this together, all right? Don't panic, please. Time, no, no worry. No! Siege. We must strike at them now. Look, see, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. We only need two more little buggers. Look, one, two. There you go. Now, look, see. And now we have a dragon to do it for us. You guys were just panicking too much. That's all I'm saying. Panicking. Little worry warts. That's what you are. Right. <laughs> Nice, nice. Okay, there we go. Dodge. Yeah. See, last time it took like a bajillion hours to do this. But now, we're speeding through it. Nice, there we go. Good shit. Woo! Endless KOs. So juicy. Yum yum. Alright. And then there are you. Okay, now you're dead. Did you know that this game and the 2010 PS3 action RPG near are connected? The fuck is near? There we go. Okay, and attack. Nice. Yeah, exactly. It's near what? If it's not near a sustainable water source for my village, 
I'm not interested. Yeah, and then really quickly we flat in here and then level complete. Yay! Uh, woo! Ah, scary. <laughs> they jump scared me. Oh, scary. There we go. Okay. Charge and fire! Done! Record time, baby. Let's see how fast that was, actually. It was... 2 minutes 49. See, that was nothing. Easy. Oh, God, my back is killing me. Owie, owie, owie. How we doing? Let's see. Oh, it gets like a nasty, gross little claw. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's pretty cool. All right, anyways, guys, um, that is going to be the end of today's stream. I was thinking about maybe streaming tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably be streaming more... Drake and Guard for now. Um, but during the week, I will be doing a couple of sponsored things with Star Ocean uh, and Little Goody Two Shoes. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, Luzanati. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry I have to send you away so soon. All right, give me a sec. Uh, let me see. I'm going to raid. I'll raid out Teru. Yeah. There we are. There we go. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much uh, for joining me today. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you very much for all of the very generous uh, donations. Thank you so much for all of the bits. Thank you very much for tuning in and subbing. Uh, I, again, appreciate that very much. And I will catch all of you crazy gamers in the next stream. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Catch you later. Have yourselves a good one, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Farewell. Goodbye. Wow.